Hi, I'm Dr. Amanda Goodson, pastor of Trinity Temple CME Church, and I have the pleasure today to have with us our Bishop of the Ninth Episcopal District of the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church, Bobby R. Best, one of the most wonderful bishops that we have within our church. So he has a vision, Bishop Best, and it's so awesome for us as a district to talk about the same thing, teach the same thing for Bible study, for church, as well as Sunday school. And we're going through this discipleship series, and I wanna to talk to you a little bit about and let our audience know about your vision for discipleship training. All right, um, thank you, Dr. Goodson. Uh, it's good to be here. I, um, I'm concerned about uh, our churches not really fulfilling its purpose. And uh, once we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, uh, the next step is for us to begin the process of becoming disciples. And once we have, uh, I'm not sure we, have com we ever complete the process, but once we have, you know, made some, um, you know, some, some ingrows into becoming a disciple, then it's time for us to start making other disciples. And uh, so the discipleship process uh, and the discipleship training is designed for us to simply do that. And of course we know that a disciple is a pupil, a learner, uh, a follower. And um, when we talk about discipleship in the Christian church, we're talking about being a, discipleship, a disciple of Jesus. And uh, it requires us to be obedient uh, and do what God would have us to do and follow the principles and the teachings uh, of Jesus Christ. Uh, and I think it's important for us to do it. Um, you know, you go some places, it seems like some of the churches got a better grip on it than other places. Wow. Uh, and so I thought it would be good for us to consistently throughout the entire Ninth Episcopal District and we're talking about uh, Arizona, New Mexico, Alaska, Pacific, that consists of Oregon State, Washington State, and uh, Alaska, uh, Oklahoma, and then the whole state of California, both north and, uh, uh, north and southern. Uh, so together, we're all on this journey in terms of uh, learning how to be disciples and being faithful and committed and loyal to uh, uh, to the, I guess, the uh, royal that's in us. Wow, the royal priesthood, the holy nation that's in us, in us in the kingdom of God. I really like how you have involved our youth, mm -hmm. you've involved our young adults, and our adults in creative ways. And also your vision was so awesome that you involved everyone in each person in each region to help mm -hmm. teach uh, and also to write this curriculum. So I think it's just wonderful. And then using Dr. Crutchfield's book, um, it's just it's just awesome. Can you talk a little bit more about that, please? Yeah, I, I, I thought that it would be more meaningful if we actually had uh, writers from all of the areas that comprise the Ninth Episcopal District. Um, and so I think one of the lessons, uh, the call in the cost of discipleship, uh, I did the Bible study, uh, Reverend uh, Eloise Knox, who's a presiding elder in Northern California, did the, uh, uh, she did the Sunday school lesson. Wow. And then when, you know, prayer, Southern California, I think uh, faith was Southern California. Oklahoma did uh, the word. And then in uh, Alaska, uh, Reverend Jerry Webb, did, did the love. Did the love. Yeah, yeah. that's and awesome. so we involved everyone. And then with the children and the youth component, uh, we had a pastor from Northern California, Reverend Ramon Striplin, and one from Southern California, Reverend uh, uh, John Duran Johnson. They did the uh, part. They basically took the lessons that the others had done and converted it in language that would be... Uh, easier for the youth for and the children to understand. to understand. Yeah, I think that's amazing to do that because then there's nobody left out. Mm -hmm. Everyone can understand the importance of being a follower, being a pupil of Christ, being a learner, mm -hmm. and, and they can just engage in really, really creative ways. Yeah. So I thank you for that and your yeah. 
your vision in that. Yeah, one, one other thing I want to make sure I say, um, we really got all this information from Dr. Carmichael Crutchfield. Yes, sir. Who is our General Secretary of Christian Education. He did a book uh, entitled uh, 21st Century Discipleship. Right. And uh, so we, um, you know, got some basic concepts from him and then we put our own spin on it. But I wanted to make sure we give him credit for um, the foundational work. And I appreciate that for mentioning Dr. Crutchfield because that's, that's very, very important. Can you speak to our audience as we close? We're going to come back with our next segment to talk about the call and the cost of discipleship. Can you kind of close out uh, with you know, some parting words about your vision with this particular series that we're doing and then encourage people to join us for our next segment? Okay, sure. God has called all of us to be disciples. And um, I think sometimes when we think about the fact that salvation is free, uh, we fail to consider that there is a cost to discipleship. And the Bible says, if any man come after me, let him deny himself wow. and take up his cross and follow me. And there's even a passage that talks about, you know, you have to love the Lord more than you love mother, father, sister, sister brother, brother yeah. children, and all right. of that. And so, um, and it, it's, it really says hate uh, in the King James Version. It uses the word hate. but Which means prefer. Yeah. Hate God. means uh, also love less. Yes, You love got to less. love the yeah. Lord Pref more than prefer you love. Prefer God. That's yeah, right. prefer you, God. You're exactly yes. right. So I think it's critical for us to, uh, you know, make sure that we uh, actually, this lifelong process of becoming disciples that we engage ourselves in it and then we also um, mentor others. That's that investment factor. Right. You know, once you get something, you can't be selfish about it. You got to pass it on and we want to certainly pass it on to our younger generation. So this is Bishop Bobby R. Best, Bishop of the Ninth Episcopal District of the CME Church. We're so glad that he's here. And please join us for our next segment as we talk about the call and cost of discipleship. We'll see you then. Thank you. Right.